those of you who may be uh, who are new to Xcode and or coding, um, you might probably asking yourself, what are these H and M files um, that we have over here? Um, so you've I've already seen that the H file is um, one of its uses is for connecting elements from your um, view controller. Uh, so, but why would you need to do that? So this makes them um, variables, basically class variables uh, that we can then interact with and uh, you know change and things like that. So the H file is basically that, what that means is the header file. Um, anyone who comes from other programming languages, whatever, this is your if you want to think of it as class variables, um, actually public class variables that could be used and accessed from other classes as well. Um, so anything that you need to use throughout your program, uh, it's a good idea to declare them in the H file. Uh, we'll get into that more, but you know that gets the concept of scope, and scope means um, where is your variable accessible? Where does it live? Uh, and if you declare it in the H file, it basically can be accessed from anywhere in your program. Um, so let's say uh, I'm going to click this little X in the top right here to get out of the um, uh, assistant editor mode. And if we then go over here and you click on the H, so you can see the whole file at a time there. Um, so we have two variables in here. We have our UI out label and we have our IB action. And let me just show you how you can use that IB action to uh, create some interactivity. So if we go into our M file, um, we have some stuff in here by default that really we don't need to pay attention to. We can uh, get rid of this whole part here with the init with nib. Just delete that. Um, this is important though here. The view did load is basically like the when you run this program, uh, this gets called when we come on to our, since this is connected with this view controller, as soon as we come on to this screen, this method gets called and things start to happen from there. Okay, um, So anything that you want to have activated as the screen loads, you would put in this method. That's um, where it would be called. We're not going to actually use that right now, though, because we're going to wait until somebody clicks on a button to make things happen. Um, and so that interactivity happens in our IB action here. And let me kind of just give you an example here. So we have this um, label called result. And so what you're supposed to do is synthesize this label. So we'll come in here and do the at symbol, then synthesize. The nice thing about Xcode is it starts filling things in. Just press Enter and synthesize is filled in and we're going to write um, result and that also gets filled in and just a semicolon at the end. Uh, so now we can call that variable and we're going to call that in here eventually but I'm going to first show you how you can just create some variables on the fly. Int is of type integer and can be any whole number. We'll say num1 equals 6 and num2 equals 12 um, and num3 equals num1 plus num2. And then we would like to display that to the screen and you can only display in our you can only display strings to the screen, so we need to create an NS string, which is um, strings are any characters or words, and we'll call it sum equals, and we got to convert our int to a string. To do that, we write this NS string and string with format, and you have to put in this little at symbol. And each variable, uh, math variable, has their own kind of, uh, you use the percent sign with a letter. For an int, it's percent sign D. And don't worry about this. This is stuff that you can easily look up, so I wouldn't worry about committing that to memory at all. Uh, so anyway, that converts num3 to a string. 
which now can be displayed. Remember the name of our label was result. So I'm going to write result dot text, which basically is saying, hey, print this text to where that label is, and we'll say sum. And save that with command S. Now let's see what happens if we run this. <laughs> go to our uh, coin toss, click coin toss, and you see now 18 shows there. So it did the calculations and showed it to the screen. Just a quick demonstration of how you can create some variables and use your IB action to um, have some interactivity on your screen. Next we'll get into actually animating a sprite.